Hello guys, we are back with our next tutorial. In this tutorial, let us go through Turing machine model. So Turing machine. A Turing machine, as we have discussed in the previous lecture, a Turing machine is has an infinite length tape. So the length of the tape will be infinite and it is divided into individual cells. So each cell is going to have a particular symbol only. It can store only one symbol and the tape is infinite and it is going to have a control unit which controls the read write head read write head is nothing but it can read the data or it can write the data it can do two operations and it can move from right to right or to the left so it can move in a particular direction so each string ends with blank so in between after one string there will be a blank and before that string it will be a blank so it indicates that the string the new string is starting like that fine okay so you may ask me that what are the operations on the tape so we can read or scan the symbol below the tape head so wherever the tape head is there so let us assume that the whole tape is there so the tape head is here so we can read the symbol or scan the symbol below the tape head we can update or write the symbol below the tape head we, if it is x we want to update it to y so we can update it Similarly, we can move the tape head on one step left or to the right according to our requirement. So now you may ask me that what is the right movement or what, what is the left movement that is going to happen, right? So you may ask me that, you might ask me that. So right and left. So let us go through a small description, instantaneous description. We have gone through the instantaneous description of pushdown automata. So basically instantaneous description is nothing but the informal way in which you can solve a problem. Okay, fine. So let us take a small example, one for right and one for left. So let us assume A2, A3, A4, Q5, Q, A5, A6, A7, A8. So this is our tape. Let us assume this as our tape. Okay. And our head is at Q2. And on input a5 it is saying that change the state q2 to q3 and change the input symbol a5 to b1 and step move one step right so let us assume we, we initially changed the state changed the symbol to so here it is q3 and here we changed it to b1 or b okay b1 so now we need to move it right so it, these two will be swapped so b1 comma q3 so b1 comma q3 will be the right movement so b1 comma q3 understood guys so right movement is really simple when compared to left so right movement is nothing but we need to update both and we need to swap them it's really simple right okay so when we come to left movement left movement is really interesting and you need to concentrate guys so a1 a2 a3 a4 q2 a5 a6 q7 a7 a8 so you are doing operation on q2 and a5 right so in place of q2 you will be writing q1 in place of a5 you will be writing c and you will moving one step left so now the operation will be done on three things guys here okay i'll be just writing it here so q3 q2 will be updated to q3 sorry q1 and a5 is updated to c so now it should move left so the swapping is done between the a4 and q1 so the output will be Q1, A4, C. So I hope everyone got a small idea, at least the basic idea of how left and right. So once we are going through examples, you'll be having a clear idea. Don't worry, guys. Okay. So now let us go through what are the representations. Like every representation we are here also, we 